Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com. In this video, we'll be working with our slider component of our Dixit skin. So let's get started. What I have here on the screen is the documentation for the slider component. And you can get to the documentation from support documentation and choosing the Dixit uh, documentation. We'll come to the slider page right here. And according to this documentation, this, there are basically three steps to a working slider component. Now step one is adding an HTML module and setting its container. Step two is adding some HTML markup. And step three is adding the JavaScript code. So let's do this. I'm going to start with step one which says let's add an HTML module to the page and change its container. So I've switched over to a .NET Nuke 7 installation and I'm logged in and I'm in edit mode. So I'm going to go ahead and add a module to the page and the module that we're after is the HTML module so I'm going to go ahead and add it to my skin right here to my page and then what I'm going to do is go to its settings so I'm going to go to the settings and I want to go ahead and basically change the container so from page settings I'm going to go to module container I'm going to choose the slider container I'm going to go ahead and update there. So now that we have done that, we're done with step one. So step two said to add some HTML markup. So I'm going to go ahead and go to edit content. And I'm going to switch over to the HTML tab. And here I'm going to basically paste the HTML markup that's available to me in the documentation. So let me switch over to documentation. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. And we have basically choice of two different markups. If we're trying to do a full width slider, then we're going to use this first markup. But if we're trying to do a fixed width slider, then we'll go ahead and use this markup. So in this demo, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. You can just as easy copy that one and paste it in here. So very important step. If you look at this markup right here, there's a bunch of list item elements, which are these right here. Every list item defines a slide in the slider. So the source is the image that we want to show, we want to show there. It's very important you go ahead and update this to a valid path or a URL. So for my case, I'm just going to go ahead and change these to uh, 1F. Actually, I believe it's called slide 1F. So let me go ahead and do that. Slide 2F and slide 3F. Then we'll go ahead and click save. Okay, so after we've done that, we have to do step number three. And step number three basically says to copy some JavaScript code. Now, again, if you're using a full width slider, you will use the code in the top. If you're using the fixed width slider, you'll use the code in the bottom. Since I'm working with full width, I'll use this. I'll copy that. We switch over to settings. We go down to module settings to advance. And we want to paste that code in the footer. That's all really there is to it. After we've done that, we just go ahead and click on update. Okay, so now that I've pasted the JavaScript code and hit update, I have a slider that's working. And let me go ahead and edit out of the close mode so we can see that we have a full width slider. And it's uh, there's three different slides that we added and it's working just fine. So let's go ahead and switch to a fixed width slider and let's see how that works. So I'm going to go back to the edit page and I'm going to go ahead and change the HTML markup again. So I'm going to go to Edit Content, go to HTML tab, switch over to my documentation. This time I'm going to choose the Fixed Width slider here. Copy that. Paste it in here. I need to make sure that I update the path, so I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, after I do that, I'm going to switch back to the documentation and update the JavaScript as well. 
So let's take a look at a couple of the options we have in the JavaScript. The delay 3000 is basically telling the slider that every three seconds we're going to jump to the next slide. This value is in milliseconds, so if you want it to be two seconds, it would be 2000, and if for 5000 for five seconds and so on. When you're working with a fixed width slider, you would want to tell the module what would be our starting width and what would be our starting height. Because the module is responsive, the slider component is responsive, so it will adjust to different screen sizes, but this would be our starting width, 1170 and 275. So let me go ahead and copy this and jump over here, go to settings, and update that JavaScript. Right here, I'm going to paste it and hit update. There we go. Now we have a fixed slider instead of a full width slider. And that's really is to use a slider component with our Diction Skin. It's really that easy. Now there will be more video tutorials that will help you cover more options you have. For example, you can specify a transition, a data transition that's for each slide. And we cover that in this slide markup. Remember I said every uh, slide is a list item element, which is an li. We could use attributes, for example, right here. We can say on this particular slide we want the transition effect to be fade versus a random one. And here's all the options we have for the transition. Similarly, we have a lot more options. For example, if you want to link a slide to a URL, you would use a data link attribute and so forth. So watch out for the next video uh, which covers all these. Similarly, there's a bunch of options that apply to the entire slider component, one of them which we covered, the delay, uh, the time between each slide, and start height and start width. But there's a bunch of more other options that are covered here in the documentation. I'm going to keep this video short, so that's it for now. If you have any questions or concerns, please do open up a support ticket and we'll be happy to Thank you so much for watching the video.